and away we go. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. I certainly would like to get um, a walk around microphone. Uh, the irony here was um, when I was um, thinking about doing a video maybe, and I was over here on the Russian side, I was like, oh gosh, actually I should start trying to like sit on or stand on the other side so that way you guys are not going to... Um, get too discombobulated looking at the uh, all the numbers upside down and everything. I was like, wait a minute, they're not looking through your eyeballs. It's the webcam, man. So it doesn't matter where you're standing. I was like, oh, they learn. Anyways, just to say that um, it's not like a super long whatever. Yeah, I'm congested. I've been, uh, like I said before, super love cuddles to uh, puss. Um, is that uh, this is going... Um, it's been, well, I'm actually listening to, what's his name, Vano Muradeli. Uh, I think he's a Russian, com well, he is a Russian composer, he was born in 1908, um, never heard of him before. Um, I just wanted to try to find something that, um, just to kind of really cleanse my head to get out of Austro-Hungarian um, uh, influence and uh, uh, uh Germanic, like just get, I just need no central powers uh, thinking right now for a while. Uh, so I was just like, okay, I just need to, I'm, I guess this must be Soviet. I think this was like 1938 music or something like that. So it's probably pretty pro whatever, but I, I still, you know, at least I, not the first piece of music I was listening to where it was like, it was like uh, speaking. I was like, no, no, I, I just need music. Um, yeah, just to really sh shift my head around. I want to do a proper, proper job. One thing I was really happy about when I was um, putting down all the core uh, HQs and the uh, the army, like where they are on whatnot, like yet again, it, it's been written down again, but I just like to have everything so I can just like flip both done. Um, I was so happy. I didn't realize that I had actually um, uh, wrote tiny little notes or whatever, for, for example, like the fifth army dude, um, is it the fifth or am I thinking of the ninth? Oh shoot. Um, yeah, I better not st start. Okay. Hold on. The fifth, I think, uh, yeah, let's not, I've got it written down over there. I just said I was going to lay, I've got them written down so I could do things like that. Um, it's one of them's, um, Paton Lechevsky. And the other one is uh, Pavel um, Pleve. I th think he's the fifth army, Pavel Pleve. Anyways, I think the, maybe it's the ninth army that's Lechevsky, that's the uh, proactive, um, determined, like he'll go get her. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I'm really happy that I actually put a couple of notes down for uh, the Russian army commanders so that way I can start using them uh, a little bit for the role playing. Like I said, I want to get more into that because that's, um, well, it's the whole flipping point in well not it actually isn't the whole flip of point it, it's well to have fun the, um, but uh, you know the history and whatever but I mean jeepers jumping okay see these green things Sun Tzu's quote I'm not sure if it was yesterday certainly wasn't today um, probably was yesterday uh, was um, it is better to outthink your enemy than to outfight him. And I was like, oh, why did the Russians ever need that right now? Because there's, like, there's just nothing around. I'm surprised, though, actually. There's a fair amount of strength points over around. Like, it's just... <sighs> Both sides know they're preparing for winter, is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, and... Uh, there's also that higher up level where I'm sure both sides strategic, well, not the Russians, but the, the central powers are, are, are thinking, you know, if we can make like just do one major breakthrough or like see something, maybe we can knock out Russia, uh, you know, very early. Remember, it's like that, at least from what I've been reading, like that's a lot of the thinking still going on and it's still going to carry through well into 1915. Well, from what I've been reading and looking at in the chronology and everything. Um, anyways, let's get back to this. So what I'm trying to do is outthink. I can't outfight them. There's no effing way. So, and also, like I said, starting to look at the personalities. So there's a lot of, I know you can't see maybe specifics or whatever, but there's, 
this is I'm giving up these spots. So you, where you see the green is going to be the new front of no, Like okay. <coughs> Excuse me. This um, turn is probably going to take me over a month. No worries. No worries there. I really want to do a proper job for these guys and there's a lot of things to consider because I have to start preparing. Uh, this is not a, um, in a couple of turns, you know, amazing things are going to happen. At least that's the way I'm looking at it. Uh, so I have to start trying to prepare, for example, this mass, like retreat and form, try, I don't know how to do it yet. That's why it's going to take a long time. The, and this is one little tiny spot for crying out loud. Um, I'm going to give up these spots and I'm hoping the Germans will just fill them in and it's like, well, fine, go for it. Um, cause we'll have at least defensible ish to, uh, yeah, that spot just have to really, really plug that hole up is, um, thinking long term, not just this, you know, in a few turns or whatever. So it's like, okay, if I, we can buy, let's say January or whatever. Okay. This is where the front is. Um, at least I can start identifying weak spots or potential areas that are difficult to maintain defensive, uh, defensively, so on and so forth. This is so many flipping levels to start thinking about uh, that I'm, you know, I'm just starting to touch on. That's, um, you know, I don't know. It's just I'm loving it, man. And uh, yeah, and then I just yeah, whatever. And that's just this game, uh, you know, this this area here so that's basically all I, like i can go off on the wonder mine but i want i don't want to um bore you to death so that's it um this tiny little bit here trying to figure out how i'm going to move um move some areas because right here uh, if they attack from um uh, at this matter it's it's uh, clear train so on and so forth just start out trying to outthink don't outfight especially when um the other side has got way more firepower than uh, you know and and men at this moment uh than you do um on a side note on a side note and i'm going to bring it up on with the live stream how oh my god how anybody has not told me about or maybe you've seen it or haven't seen it there's a movie that was out in 2008 um, called the red baron holy jeepers jumping i don't care if it's zero percent historically accurate i am watching it it was just jam packed with freaking action and amazing stuff. I was like, okay, you're in. I actually, um, yeah, I can't wait. That's it. I'll leave you alone. Hope you're having a good time. Hold on. I'm gonna go ahead and stop button.